Hi, everybody. Brian Bross from DallasCowboys.com, and welcome to the Academy Sports and Outdoors Film Room. Well, Cowboys got a much-needed victory over the divisional rivals, the Philadelphia Eagles, a very important game, as we all knew, going in. Uh, division lead on the line. Both teams kind of struggling with their seasons at 3-3, three and three, but the Cowboys did a nice job at home uh, in front of the crowd, uh, getting after the Philadelphia Eagles on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball as well. Really a complete game overall, throw in the special teams as well from Brett Maher and the long field goal that he made. So yeah, really a complete effort overall. So had a lot of plays to choose from, but I want to kind of go into a couple that I felt pretty important in this game. And, you know, there have been a lot of questions about Ezekiel Elliott and whether he had that burst, whether did he have that when he got to the hole, was he able to separate? Was he able to get past people? Was he able to break tackles? You know, these were all questions that I was getting during the week, you know, from the, radio, the various radio programs I'm on, from Twitter, whatever. Fans were wanting to know about Ezekiel Elliott. And I, I'm going to give you an example of what, uh, just from last night, something that we saw. And again, it, this, is, this is about Elliott, the way he was carrying the ball but also about this offensive line I think did a heck of a job in this game, not only running the football with pass protection as well. So it doesn't get any better than this, though, but, you know, there's not a lot of times where we see Kellen Moore put Olawali in the game there as a fullback. Really one of the last times we'd seen them do that was on the, the third and one play last week against the, the Jets. They did not have very much success doing that. But what I want to point out is, a couple different things. Here's Lyle Collins over here, and we know last week Lyle Collins missed the game because of a knee injury right there. You know, you see the big knee brace on his leg at that point. Here you go, you look right here, Tyron Smith, he's got a heavily wrapped ankle. These guys gutted this thing out, played every snap in the game, did a great job. And I want to show you though, when you have a guy uh, like Collins, and then also Zach Martin and, and what they were able to do on this back side. Here's Fletcher Cox. If you remember the pregame show, I went into great detail of how many times you think we'll see Jim Swartz put uh, Fletcher Cox over Zach Martin. Well, in this particular case, they did. So this is what I want to show you about this, the combination blocks that they're able to make to get the lane that Ezekiel Elliott need. I'm going to run the play for you forward here. And kind of, kind of slow it. See it right there. Look, look what happens right here. Okay, look at that right there. That is perfect. Here's, here's Lyle Collins. He's got Fletcher Cox cut off right there. And then you look at then what Zach Martin's able to do right there to get that block to seal things off to give Elliott at least that lane, that look. You know, Olawale is going to the outside here. He's looking to the outside. Elliott's eyes, if you can see. His eyes are to the outside as well. But, and they start to see what's going on. Tyron Smith gets a block to the outside. They're gonna get, they're gonna get Connor Williams up and then they've got that, uh, the, the defensive tackle taken care of. So as I run the play for you forward here, look at that, look at Elliott right there. Now, we've kind of talked about does he lack burst. Look at that cut right there and look at his ability to get up and to and through the hole. Look at the press. Look at the press, presses the hole, gets the block, I'm gonna stop it for you right there. Look at that right there. Look at the nice job that they're able, that, that lane that they're able to create. Okay, now we talk about the physicality. Can Ezekiel Elliott, have we seen him break enough tackles? Have we seen him have that power? You know, I mean, there were some people that had a lot of questions that was Zeke's play falling off? Was he the same back he was his, uh, his first year with the Cowboys? Right here, that's a good football player. That's Malcolm Jenkins. And Malcolm Jenkins is one of those guys that usually when he gets in space, he is going to make the tackle. And you see Elliott, he's got this front shoulder lowered now, and he sees what's about to take place. And as I run the play for you forward, watch the power. Look at that right there. Look at the blow that he delivers to Malcolm. Malcolm Jenkins can't even – look at that right there. Malcolm Jenkins – his hands are on the ground. They're not even near wrapping up Elliott as he's, as he's going forward here. I mean, and, and look at the balance that Elliott's able to keep. 
Again, look at all these blocks that are happening right here. The lane that he's able to run inside. There's nobody back here that's going to take care of this. So watch right here. Here we go. That's a great job with Elliot right there. Look at him just power his way in. Takes the backside end all the way over. Look at that power that he runs, the balance. Folks, I thought he was in on this play. It looked like his shin was on the ground, not his knee. But the official said that was not a touchdown, but a heck of a run. Again, one more time running. Look at all the blocks develop. Look at the blocks, the vision, the explosiveness, the physicality, and the finish. Okay, now looking on that defensive side of the ball, I want to point out the Demarcus Lawrence here. And there's a lot of folks, again, there was some questions. Where, where's Demarcus Lawrence been? You know, why has he not created more pressure? Why has he got more sacks? Why is he not playing better? You know, everybody was expecting so much from Demarcus Lawrence. And, you know, he expects a lot for himself, too. Heck, you know, Robert Quinn over here has done a great job of helping out and getting some pressure on that outside. I mean, he is, he is taking his share of double teams and, you know, uh, kind of allowed uh, Demarcus Lawrence to have some single blocks. And, you know, here he is right here working against Lane Johnson, a very athletic tackle. And with Lane Johnson, he's had problems with Lane Johnson in the past. He has not had a sack against Lane Johnson. And, you know, Lane Johnson has been able to fight him pretty well in these games. And, you know, there was a lot of talk about this. Could, you know, could he come into this game and, and do some good? Okay, I'm going to run the play for you forward here. Everybody's lined up. Look right here. Okay, we see right now, look how wide that Lawrence is right here. Now again, this is to me, if Lawrence is playing that wide and then Lane Johnson is going to kick wide to him, then maybe we'll see Lawrence come back to the inside. But no, he got wide on this technique. There was a chance that maybe Sanders would come over and help right there because they've been kind of trying to chip these defensive ends during the game. I'm gonna run it for you forward here. Here we go. You got, the, you got uh, Zach Ertz is going to walk down, but no, he doesn't chip this time. Okay, look at this is, where, this is where Lawrence is at his best. When Lawrence can win on the first step, look at the ground that he's able to make up with that left step. You've got Johnson's trying to kick wide to him and set up, and so he's really spread out right here. He's got a wide base, but he's athletic enough to make this set. Now, the, the problem he's going to run into is, look right here. Look at the kind of the shake that Lawrence, the shake. See that shake? See that little shimmy? That's what he was able to do right there. He got, he threw Johnson off balance. Look right there. Johnson's beat. When his feet are that wide and he is that overextended and his hands are yet to really control Lawrence right there. That's a problem right there. That... That's the perfect scenario for DeMarcus Lawrence to win on this particular play. When you get an offensive lineman in that blocking position right there, they are done. Okay, going forward, look at that. Look at him, great job, gains direction. Okay, stopped it right there. Look at that hand. Still, Johnson's hands are trying to get inside, one on the outside, but Lawrence is now, he's worked that shoulder past Johnson right there and once he gets that shoulder passed he is going to get up the field look at that right there look at the look at his ability he's got him overextended he gets the shoulder pass now what do you have to do you have to close at the level of the quarterback we've seen too many times where these rushers get too wide and a little bit Robert Quinn is trying to get back level where where Carson Wentz is sitting in the middle of that pocket right there. But look what happened. Lawrence has got those eyes looking right there in the middle. And he's on the level. He's not too far up the field where Wentz could step up and make this throw down the field. He's on the same level with him. So as the play, as he comes, look at that. Look at the close right there. Wentz is one of fire. He, look at, he's got guys open down the middle of the field. And he wants to fire that ball. But he's got Lawrence right there. Great job by Lawrence closing on the play, getting his shoulder pass, closing and knocking the ball out of Carson Wentz's hands. 
Good job by Robert Quinn, too, coming hard off the other side right there to make uh, to get some pressure. But that's just an outstanding technique from Demarcus Lawrence right there of rushing and then beating the blocker, staying on the same level, and then knocking the ball out of the quarterback's hands. These are drills that they do every single day. Rod Marinelli, Leon Lett, uh, Andre Girard, all those guys down there, when they're working on pass rush, they're working on knocking the ball out of the quarterback's hands. And But it starts with that first explosive step, then the shoulder, then the close and the burst. And that's what you got right there. So great job by those guys, or by that rush, or really by both Quinn and Lawrence to get home. And then great job by the Cowboys offensive line in that game last night. The balance they showed running the football, giving Dak Prescott protection. Uh, you know, a couple of guys playing banged up in that football game, Lyle Collins, uh, Tyron Smith. Those guys did a heck of a job. Looked like they weren't gonna play in the middle of last week, but then were able to ramp things up at the end and got it done in a very important victory for the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, Cowboys are on the bye, so uh, we might come up with some type of film room thing for you next Tuesday. I'll kind of work on that, but, uh, but thanks for always joining me here in the Academy Sports and Outdoors film room. Again, uh, nothing going on next week, but I might come up with something for you. But the following week, yes, the team goes back to the Meadowlands where they will face the New York Giants on Monday Night Football and uh, we will be sure to have some plays for you then. Again, thanks for joining me and we'll see you down the road.